Hi everybody, uh, I would like to introduce you guys to a new course that I'm going to be conducting in the month of September 2016. It's a course that actually integrates the CCDE boot camps and the CCIE service provider boot camp into one. One of the things that I've done in the past when I've done the CCDE boot camp is I've seen a lot of people come in and uh, although we talk about a lot of the different topics and technologies that are related to the uh, service provider technologies like MPLS, carrier supporting carrier, MPLS interest, VPNs, MPLS TE, we just talk about the technologies from a design perspective. And we, when we do a CCI service provider bootcamp, we talk about it from the implementation perspective. So this particular bootcamp that I'm creating over here is going to be a integrated bootcamp that will include the topics of the CCI uh, service provider with an emphasis on CCD from the design perspective of things. So not only am I going to talk about the design and implementation of the particular technologies, I'm actually going to show you how to do it because all these different things I would do in a CCI service provider bootcamp as well. But from the perspective of taking a look at the technology, where would you want to use it, when would you want to use it, picking up a protocol like OSPF and comparing that protocol to EHRP, which generally I would not do in the service provider bootcamp, I would just talk about how the implementation is done. In this particular class, I'm going to take a look at the implementation part of it as well as the design aspect part of it. It's a fabulous course. If I had to take a course from scratch, this is some course that I would definitely want to attend. Uh, these are the different topics that I'm going to be covering in the particular boot camp. Let me just go over them with you guys. We're going to start with a, a technical discussion about RIP version 2. I'm going to take a look at RIP version 2, take a look at the characteristics of version 2, and then actually implement it. If I was doing the CCDE class, I would just talk about the characteristics of RIP, not implement it, not show you how actually those characteristics work. In this particular class, I'm going to actually talk about the characteristics and implement that. I'm going to do the same type of things that I just talked about from the perspective of RIP. We're going to do the same thing with EHRP. We'll take a look at the same things with ISIS, IPv6, redistribution of these protocols among themselves. Then take a look at BGP. In BGP, we'll take a look at how to run BGP for IPv4 as well as for IPv6. So you'll get a chance to take a look at BGP for IPv4 and BGP for IPv6. We'll take a look at the BFD technology from the design perspective as well as from the perspective of the implementation of it. Once we're done with that, we go into detail about MPLS, something that every CCI service provider requires but also which is the core of your CCD exam as well. But the thing when I cover the CCD exam by itself, although I talk about these technologies from the perspective of design, you never get an actual chance to implement it. So that's why I decided to come up with this course which integrates the CCI service provider along with the CCD because not only are you going to talk about which type of VPN would you want to implement, but actually see it how it works and actually see the actual uh, characteristics in action. We'll take a look at intra-AS MPLS VPN, intra-AS MPLS VPN, the ca uh, customer uh, carrier supporting carrier models, the different ones, different type of layer 2 models with Atom, VPLS, L2TP, V3, everything. We'll take a look at traffic engineering, multicast routing, Although we'll do quality of service as well as security, security will take a look at the different type of VPNs and their characteristics. These two topics, because they're not in the service provider or in the CCD, we'll talk about it from the design perspective only. So these two topics we do not actually implement, but everything else is actually implemented in terms of the design as well as the uh, configuration of the topics. This boot camp will be on the weekends. Uh, so it suits, it should suit most of the people that want to take it. Besides that, we'll, uh, we'll do it in the evening so you have a chance to have your weekend to yourself and take a look at it from the evening perspective. What are the timings? Uh, I'll put different times for different regions that I am catering to. In, in terms of India, we'll be doing it on Saturday and Sunday from 9.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. Yes, it's night, but it's the weekend, so you, should, you guys should be okay with that. That also gives you the ability to 
utilize the full Saturday Sunday with your families. In terms of the Middle East, we'll do UAE time. The same time, basically, which is in the UAE, it's going to be 8 p.m. till midnight. Again, Saturday, Sunday. If you want to look at the KSA time, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Again, on Saturday, Sunday evenings. Uh, looking from the UK time, it is going to be from 5 p.m. in the evening till 9 p.m. in the evening, Saturday, Sunday. In the U.S. time, it also suits the U.S. time. I'm just going to put the Pacific time over here. You guys, if you're in the U.S., you can calculate it based on that. 9 a.m. to 1 a.m., which is in the morning, 1 p.m., sorry, in the morning of Saturday and Sunday. This is Pacific time. This class will start on the 17th of September. It's going to go for seven weeks or seven weekends, which is roughly around 56 hours. All right. If you guys are interested, please email me at kwarb at kwarb.com. Looking forward to having you guys in class. Uh, wish you all the best. Take care. Bye now.